Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about that dirty little word, depression. And I don't want to talk about it from a clinical standpoint. For a minute I will. Um, I really want to talk about energetically why depression happens or how it happens. Because too many people get caught up in the, oh, I'm just not feeling good today. Oh, I'm a little depressed. Oh, I'll pop a pill. And I think our community, our, our, our world has gotten so used to taking a pill to make the pain go away that we don't bother to deal with what's causing the depression in the first place. And what depression, what that is, is negative energy. But it's an abundance of negative energy. It's not just, oh, I was around a person who was nasty and I took on his energy. It's nothing like that. It's you have let things build up and build up and build up inside of you so that you have these layers of negative energy around you. It, it would start here. This is your normal self. And you would get layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer until suddenly you can't function. Everything looks dark. Everything looks depressing. Everything looks horrible. And yes, some people, this is the clinical part, some people do need medication in order for them to break through some of those layers to get to the point where they can actually be objective about their own situation. But I, I want the world to be so that we never get there. Or if we do get depressed, we go, whoa, wait, what's going on here? How come I'm feeling a little negative? How, what, where did this come from? And, and stop and tell yourself, I have to figure this out. I have to work through this. But the problem is, so many people get stuck. They get stuck in their own lives. They get stuck in their little situations or they want to say something to someone who's negative towards them, but they have this fear going on, or they don't want to test the waters, or they don't want to rock the boat. And sometimes you have to. And if you don't say something in the beginning to help prevent those negative layers of energy consuming you, you do get into that nasty, nasty, psychologically horrible state where you need drugs and sometimes not even those help because you have so many layers on you so ward off depression we all can do it we all can just take little steps to keep ourselves from getting and i'm talking about people without depression from getting depressed from getting sunk in when you start to feel that something's not right you need to find out why. And if you can't figure it out, you need to ask someone else why. Whether it's your best friend, you know, what do you see going on around me? Or a professional. I get a lot of people, because I specialize in life purpose and about the why and what of your existence here, I get a lot of people who tend to be depressed. And you would be amazed what an hour can do with someone giving them a, an unbiased opinion. You know, I don't know them. Their family knows them. The ones who watch over them know them. And they're the ones who are giving the guidance, the ideas. No one on the other side ever tells you what to do. They tell you what can happen if you don't do this or what will happen if you do do this. And then it's up to you to make the decision on what to do. But just by talking things through, you can get rid of those layers. Holding things in do not help does not help at all. It doesn't make your world better. It doesn't keep you being, oh, the most wonderful person in the world. No, you look like a depressed little funk that, you know, people don't want to be around. And that's not who you are and that's not what life's about. Life is about being happy and joyous and finding the good in the world, even in the midst of depression in the world. Not your own depression, but on a larger scale. So the next time you start to feel down, and I'll use that word because a lot of people like that word, I feel a little down today. Why? Work through it. Figure it out. Write yourself a letter. Write a letter to the person you really want to talk to but don't think you can talk to. That helps you 
get everything off your chest, to release that negative energy from you so that you can move past it. Even if you can't confront the person that's making you miserable, you can confront the emotion, you can confront the energy, and you can release it. No, it doesn't take away the situation. You still have to deal with the situation, but it helps you see the situation differently. It helps you have a better perspective of the situation. And some, and in many cases, it gives you the courage to move past the situation. Because sometimes people think they have to confront things, and they really don't. They just have to observe, figure it out, and move on. You know, maybe your friend did something to you and it's really annoying you. Let go of it. Uh, they probably don't realize they upset you as much as you as you are. And they probably didn't intend to. But confronting them and being angry at them and, and pushing your negative energy onto them, is that going to help your relationship? Is that going to help your friendship? No. And it's just one speck on the map of life. You know, the phrase, get over it, move on, you know, it is pretty apropos here. It, writing a letter to yourself or to that person is the easiest way to rid yourself of that first stage of depression. And if you're at the point where you can't, writing a letter just doesn't do it, then you need some help wherever or however you see that. Whether it's a professional psychologist, a psychic, a medium, whoever can help you get a better perspective on life. That's where you go. And good luck. Ciao.